We're gonna do some uh, sample flipping stuff today. Submit a sample into the Discord and then I'll flip it. You can send in whatever you want and I'll flip the sample. It could be something you find on the internet or, or preferably something that's in your project. Oh, let me see what we got. All righty then. Ooh, I like that one. I wanna try a new thing today and it has to do with having a resonator. Ha! That bam, go like this. Bam. Resample that onto the pitch. I think I fucking got it. I think I fucking got it. Let's see what happens when I do this. Ooh! What? That's crazy. That's interesting. Yeah, so with that stuff that I flipped, I have all this crazy stuff on here. Okay, so here's what's happening. On this first on this first section, the sound that you're hearing at the beginning is just this patch, but I'm just turning the chords on. So you'll see the controls here. When you zoom into it a little bit, you can kind of see where it's playing. See, there you go. And then at the beginning, to get that super, super glitchy sound and warp sound, I just put them on chords. Look, one octave up, two octaves up, three octaves up, one octave down, two octaves down. So basically the sample is being played at five different speeds. And therefore it's creating this really, really trippy effect. And all that's really happening is, is they're being played doubled, triple times, uh, and, and half and, and double halves of that time. So I love this. This is, this is overpowered, um, um, plug in for sure. Yeah. But let's, let's take a listen to that by itself. Yeah. So that's what, what's happening there. Um, the drums is really making everything move. And the sample that's being played in this sampler is just the sample that's over here. So it's kind of using like, it's like I'm using four different sounds um, with one different uh, uh, patch that I made. So, and that's, that's a cool way to make all of your sounds cohesive within a song. Uh, it's a pretty cool effect, but it, this is the original sample that the sampler is playing. I'm just playing an initial impact. Which was created using that patch earlier. And with it being over the top of the melody, it creates this really cool dissonance. You hear that? And I got it going through delay and stuff, um, and it's going through a send and return, so it's not uh, uh, taken away from the original signal. Oh, my God. 